Hey, it's Hot Rod on your freaking Eagle channel here. We got something different today. Uh, I got so much junk accumulated, I decided to go to the recycle. But I'm going to show some of the, the people that don't know about recycling. One of the first things you need is a magnet. And that's just a small one. And anything that that magnet sticks to it's not worth near as much money. In other words, all these manifolds, springs. Uh, but then when you get over here to the rotors, always separate those from the rest of your metal. You get more for that type of metal that's in the rotors. I don't know if it's because it's harder or what. But your aluminum wheels bring uh, right much aluminum as long as they don't have the chrome on them and all. Then you got your your wire down here. You get a lot more for that if you would. A lot of people burn the plastic off, but I'm not going to all that trouble. I just want to get this crap out of my back in the woods where I've had it. Uh, you got dirty aluminum, clean aluminum. In other words, that's straight aluminum right there. There's no metal on it or rubber or plastic. Whereas over here, you see the radiator. It has the plastic on it. And you got the aluminum there with the with the uh, other metal on it, or the bushings in those uh, tie rod ends, whatever they are. You're not going to get as much for that. Uh, here's the one that's worth the most, the copper. All right, these are the clean ones. Just like all these heater cores, they'll bring good money. But that one there, see, got some. Insulation well, I couldn't get it off so I said to hell with it These are all copper here one copper pipe, but you notice these they have the bracing That that must be Soldered on there or something. It's too much trouble to try to take all that off So I'm just gonna bite the bullet and take it in there like it is But that's a lot of weight right there that one on the bottom is huge So just wanted to give you guys a little info on this recycling I don't do it for a living I just I've accumulated this over like these wheel weights up here I don't know what they'll bring but God I've had them for probably 30 years I've melted them down and made different things uh, this is all kind of like pistons in there just different pieces of aluminum that should bring Hey, none of it bring her a lot right now like it used to, but it's better than nothing. That's a little pocket money. Don't forget to get your magnet. Like I said, if the magnet sticks to it, it's not going to be worth near as much, except for those rotors. I had a bigger magnet. I stuck them on them a while ago, and I couldn't hardly get it off, so I went and got me a small, a small magnet. I'll probably wash these wheels off and probably get more money if I clean them up a little bit. Uh, you got to watch them though. Keep your eye on them. I don't care where you go. There are some some of the uh, recycling places out there that will get you. You can ask anybody. You just got to... I've got catalytic converters, but I haven't... Uh, I'm not taking everything today. I just cherry-picked a bunch of it just to go up there and get me some pocket cash. So, I thought I'd give you a little... I'm going to work on this little dude here this year. That's an arena race in Honda. Been modified to 23 horsepower, so that's going to be fun. The wheels are on there permanent. Uh, probably work on this 63 Chevy. Uh, right much this winter. I got to keep getting, uh, I get distracted too much from other product uh, projects. All right, that's it. I uh, hope this helps you out a little bit. Uh, not the best of time to be recycling, but like I said, you get junk laying around, take it up there and get some pocket money. Later.